Okay, hi everyone. I'm now going to show you how you can create a calendar for your class teams this time. So you can share a calendar with your students. And I'm going to show you how you can modify those settings so students cannot add events or delete events or modify the calendar in any way. Um, in the previous example, that was mainly um, for staff members so that they can collaborate with each other and have a shared calendar within the team. This is uh, for a teacher to be able to have a shared calendar with students so students can know project deadlines, um, tests, assignments, uh, rather than um, using only the assignment section in Teams and record everything in assignments. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go very quickly how to set up a calendar. So I'm going to go to my team, this one here, uh, my training one. I'm going to go to General, go to Files. I'm going to open in SharePoint. And now from SharePoint, what I want to do is go to Site Contents, and then we're going to add. Here we go. Here we're going to go to New, and we're going to add a new app. The app we're going to add is a calendar. There we go. And we're going to call this Class Calendar. Click Create. And our calendar is now created. So if we scroll down, we can see here my class calendar is created. Now, if I click uh, on this, I can open the calendar. There we go. So there's my calendar. And just get rid of these. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to my SharePoint. And what I want to do is actually modify the settings for this calendar. Now, by default, in fact, let's actually add this to our teams first. So I'm going to click on this to open it, select the URL at the top. So I'm going to copy that. Copy that there. there we go. I'm going to go to my teams and in the general section at the top, I'm going to add a URL a website. I'm going to paste my calendar URL there and I'm going to call this calendar and click on save. Okay, so here we go. We've got the calendar here and that opens up in Teams in the desktop app. So if I now go to a student account which is a member of this team i can click on here if i go to the general section at the top i should have calendar now keep in mind that calendars don't open in the browser version so what i'm going to do here i'm just going to click on here go to click here if it's not open correctly and tell it to open um, go to the site Okay, and you can see that the student now has access to the calendar, but they can also add events. And we don't want to do that. We want no, we want to prevent this. So if I click on any date, the student can actually go and add an event, and obviously delete and edit an event. So I'm going to go back to my teacher's account from here. I'm going to go to my SharePoint uh, from the browser. Browser, my browser is here. So I'm just. Oops, Open this again in SharePoint. Mm, I'm getting a bit fiddled here. There we go. Files. I'm going to open again in SharePoint. I'm going to go to my site contents to find the calendar. There it is site contents. And here's my calendar. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the vertical ellipses. I'm going to go to settings. This is going to open the settings for this calendar. And what I want to do from all these settings here, I want to go to this one here, permissions for the list and this is so that I can change the permissions. Now the permissions it gets by default and we can see this warning here are the permissions which are automatically added through the team that you've created and that basically is the owners, the teacher who's created the team has full control, members which are the students they've got edit rights and visitors have got read rights and if we look to the top here on the left it says stop inheriting permissions. We want to be able to modify these settings. We cannot do this because right now the calendar is inheriting the permissions um, from the permissions of the parent, which is the teams. So what we want to do now is stop this. So I'm going to click on this now, and that just gives me a short warning that I'm going to stop inheriting permission. I'm going to click on OK. There we go. Okay, so now I've got the option here. You see, I can select these things here. So what I want to do, I want to edit the member permissions here. So I'm going to select teacher training members, members of the students. 
I'm going to edit the user permissions. And instead of edit, I'm going to give them read access. I'm going to remove that, leave read access only, and click OK. And that's it. Just by clicking on that now, uh, we can see that the members have got read access. If you want to delete access to visitors, you can. Um, but if you at any point want to go back and inherit the permissions from the parent, from the teams, you can always just click here, delete unique permissions. Okay. And that will basically take it back to the default permissions which Teams gives. So let's test this now. If I now go to my student, I go to site, so there's a calendar. Now the student does not have add events here, so they cannot do anything. They can just browse the calendar. And that's it. 